This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for building a beautiful website. So in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to make a cross-hatching shader. This just means we're going to be connecting some nodes, which admittedly can be a bit confusing. So I'll make sure to keep things as simple as possible. Let's begin. Okay, boys and girls, you're going to start off by opening up Blender. You're then going to delete the default cube and replace it with a UV sphere set to shade smooth. And technically, you can use any object for this, but I like the way the sphere looks. Now in the shading workspace, create a new material, swap out our principled for a diffuse BSDF, and run this through a shader to RGB node. Now, boys and girls, if you're seeing this for our material instead of this, this means you're using the cycle's render engine. Don't do this. Instead, make sure that you're using Eevee. Now, with your parents' permission, just go to Google Image and find a seamless cross-hatching texture. And something like this will do just the trick. So import it into Blender, mix this with our color ramp node, and make sure to swap the sockets, set the mode to multiply, and increase the factor until you get the look you're going for. Next, add in a mix shader node, use a color ramp as the factor, and bring in our original BSDF. And look at you go, you've made a shader that can handle any lighting situation, any kind of falloff we want to use, and also any kind of intensity. Congratulations, you're so smart, and I know you worked very hard on this. For extra credit, you can try scaling down the cross-hatching to get a denser look, reworking the network to include some normal mapping, and enabling freestyle to get those fancy outlines. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, because as always, I've been CG Matter, you've been you, Bye bye so yes, we have now reached the sponsored part of the video, but this is a sponsor that I fully endorse because I actually use their services, and of course I'm talking about Squarespace. They have a website builder that is very, very good. In fact, my website is built using that website builder, which is great for me because I don't know how to code. And some of the features that you might want to know about are analytics, which let you track the traffic that's being directed over to your website, appointment scheduling, which will let potential clients know when you're available, which is important if you're freelancing, which might be relevant to you. After you go to squarespace.com to try your free trial, you can use my link in the description to save 10% off your very first website or domain.